well, with the help of the Almighty, we are witnessing every single day a genocide, a horrific murder on Nakba, and, um, and the ones who are committing this crime, the State of Israel, are claiming that they are doing it in the name of a religion, Judaism, and in the name of the Jewish people. And people are afraid to speak up because they are uh, accused of being anti-Semitic. So we as Jews who are true to our religion, we have to clarify to the world, they have to know the truth that Judaism is a religion of 3,000 years to serve God, while Zionism is a nationalist movement that started 140 years ago. It's totally criminal. They are basically hijacking the name of a religion to perpetrate uh, an evil, a selfish goal of occupying another people and has it's totally uh, uh, criminal, it is totally uh, antithetical and contradictory to the religion Judaism. We're not allowed to even create a Jewish state since the destruction of the temple 2,000 years ago, certainly not by killing and stealing. What they're doing is anti-Semitic. We are trying to get the message to the G20, to the leaders of the world. They should remember that they were blessed by God, given lofty positions to be uh, leaders and to, they should utilize uh, the power that God gave them to stop the genocide. Every single day we are witnessing carnage, war killing in, in, in Gaza, in West Bank, in Lebanon. And this is all being committed by a false premise that the Zionists claim they're doing it in the name of God, in the name of Judaism. They are criminals. Judaism is a religion of 3,000 years to serve God. Zionism is a national movement that started 140 years ago around. It is a transformation to a base, a selfish goal, a nationalist goal to take a land that all the rabbinical authorities, universally, at the time of its inception, we're totally opposed to it. Until today, the very religious communities around the world, I'm from New York, Williamsburg, Brooklyn, talking about tens and tens of thousands of Jews. There's not one Israeli flag in our community, in, in Mea Sharm, in Jerusalem, in Montreal, and wherever you go, the very religious communities are adamant and emphatically state that the occupation is not Judaism, it's forbidden. It's a false uh, nationalist movement that's criminal. And we hope because it is so critical, we are witnessing the mass murder of people and it's being perpetrated in the name of my religion, of Judaism. We cannot be silent, we dare not be silent. My grandparents were killed in Auschwitz. My father escaped the Nazis. We witnessed millions of Jews being killed. Uh, totally a, 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 a criminal against God, satanic, and now we're witnessing again people being killed. It's satanic, and the world is either silent because of uh, the uh, the uh, uh, misinformation that they've had, or of it, their intimidation of fear being accused of Zion, of, of anti-Semitism. We are here to let them know that it is clearly against Judaism, and it's not anti-Semitic to stand up against this carnage. It's anti-Semitic to commit this carnage. It's against God. It's murder, and it's even driving horrifically Jews and Muslims and the world. It's making more anti-Semitism, if anything, by the existence of the state and the, the, the horrible crimes that they're committing. Great, thank you. So if you had one message to say to the leaders, or to the G20 leaders that are gathered here today, what would you say? We are pleading, we are pleading from the depth of our hearts. Hear the cry of innocence, hear the cry of humanity, of the people created by God to save the people of created by God. The Palestinian people are suffering. Uh, uh, not only unnecessarily, but, but uh, uh, totally criminally. It cannot go on like this. And we are Jews. Respect us for our religion. Respect that you're doing it in the name of a religion. Hear the leaders of the religion and stop this carnage. Like apartheid was stopped, even though it went on for tens of years and was accepted by the United Nations. But eventually the world, because of the grassroots, because of the people recognize that it's, it's, it's immoral, this is immoral. Wake up, please. Thank you very much.